Greetings and salutations, this is Rick Koppel coming at you from Denver, Colorado with another episode of Nautilus Guru Guy. Today we're going to look at a Archcraft, which is a minimalistic arch install. Yeah, so, but I have a surgery on the 29th, so I'm not sure how soon I'm going to be able to get back to fixing things up, so it all depends on the pain, that kind of thing. It's not a major surgery, it's just real minor sur surgery. Play some battery in my DBS basically. Yeah, so anyway, I just want to warn you about that. And maybe another week or two before I get another video out. Depends on the situation, how things go. So, at any rate, with that said, let's get on to our trap and look at that. Let's look at the webpage first so we get an idea of what's going on there already. Okay, you should see the Archcraft website here. Yeah, you see we're automatically it's pretty clean website, nice, organized. See that download? Now, the only odd, the odd thing I didn't realize that Flavors was different downloads and download. Now, what happens is if you download from here, what you get is one, uh, is just download Archcraft, and that's all you get. It's one download. And you download this, this file here, and what this does, it's very minimalistic in how it does it. That his flagship uh, desktop environment is actually window managers. So, yeah, so you get, in this you get an option between open box window manager or you get a BSPWM window manager uh, out of this ISO right here. I downloaded that and put it on my uh, old computer. Uh, it doesn't really, it works all right because it, it's, uh, as far as running it works, it runs pretty good because it's real minimalist. It had like 300 and some megabytes, had a big megabyte, 8 gigabytes, excuse me, of, uh, on BSPM. And I think it had like 400 megabytes out of 8 gigs of memory on the uh, open box. So, yeah, either one probably works but about as good as the other as far as that goes. The big problem was because it's Arch is rolling and it's rolling had a lot of downloads. And my old computer wasn't real happy downloading all those, all those. I think the first shot since the last one was 300 and some uh, packages I had to download. And it took a while and through several iterations of starting it over and over and over again until I got them all downloaded. And then, then I was able to get it going. I had to, had to reduce the parallel downloads from, from six, it's default on Arch down to one, so it only do one at a time because it doesn't really like to do it. <laughs> that helped. It helped to do that, but uh, I was able to get through it. But at any rate, yeah, it's not most people aren't going. And if you if it's not a computer, you you maintain a lot or easy. This isn't going to be what your the ideal for that kind of situation. If it's computers that that you that you update regularly. And that you uh, have a fast CPU, that kind of thing, decently fast CPU, then this should be pretty good for you, I think. And it leaves, does leave a lot of memory available for other programs running the system, too. So, yeah. So, anyway, we'll look at that. So, that's you, you want this one, you can download that. Now, it does have flavors up here, which is kind of like desktop environment flavors. <laughs> So, if you want a desktop environment, a full desktop environment, you go here. Now, what it has is it has XFC. It's kind of, it's, I don't know if you call it flagship at this point, but it's kind of like it's one that's got that. And it's also got LXD. So, there's only two flavors it's got LXD and, and XFC. Now, I have a sort of a soft spot in my heart for. LXD because it's first uh, when first uh, desktop environment I ever had on my computers back in 2010 I think it was I first installed uh, L Ubuntu on my laptop and finally after two months I got it figured out and, and had it going just how I liked it stayed with it for six years too so I was liked it a lot probably. <laughs> But eventually I moved on to X and Boot 2. I did that for a while and then I moved on to Linux Mint from there and the next thing you know is all over the place. Okay, so I downloaded LXD this time. 
to check it out and that's what we're, one we're gonna look at today is LXD and I really have to say though that the you might want to check out the window managers if you're all familiar with window managers you want to check them out because uh, they have a lot of interesting uh, functionality up in the poly bar or the BWP bar as they call it so anyway with that said we'll, do, we'll download this we'll go check it out here I'm just going to show the grub menu on this because it was interesting to me use the Calamars installer so there's no real big uh, you know uh, question marks there if you just look at the last video I did which was a Debian version you need a Debian installer so I'm not going to show all that over all over again but I didn't want to show this part because it showed the options you have in the grub menu itself. So you have here, you have your your basic boot Archcraft. Archcraft open source. Open source with no, no voodoo. I don't know how to pronounce that exactly. No voodoo. Anyway, you got that. And then you have your NVIDIA. Your NVIDIA is no name in case you want to switch back and forth between the two. So this is, if you want no new voodoo, then this is one you want is open source. Well, this one without it, because you don't have an NVIDIA card of any kind, then you can go use this one. If you just say, I want to get down on NVIDIA only, you just download that. And if you want to know the NVIDIA with no NVIDIA on it, then you download that one. So, yeah, so you have options here. If you have an NVIDIA card, you have options for this. So it's kind of cool in that regard. Hopefully it works. I don't know. I have to start out on my living room computer to test that out. And I'm... Not really set up for that, so we'll just go with this and install this. So anyway, yeah, so that's what you got option there. I just want to show you the grub menu real quick so you see what options you have for that. Maybe maybe you have an NVIDIA card in one of your computers. You say, I think I want to try that one there. So art's right, supposed to be a good distro for gaming type functionality. But this one you make up of what you will, so anyway, we'll... See you on the other side, and we'll show you what we got when we come out of it. All right, we're on our uh, new, brand new LXT monitor right now. Looks pretty good to me, I think. I like the background even. <laughs> More mountains. Those are like, is this Debian? No, this is LXT. Yeah. It has a similar but different background. Actually, I installed this alongside of Debian. So we got Debian Arch on one machine, yay. <laughs> yeah, I really like this desktop actually because it's got it uses open box for one thing, so it's minimal. And it's got a desktop. So it's got a one desktop, I guess. I don't know if you can easily switch. I don't know, let's see what happens when you press this. I guess desktop two, three, four. Five, six, five, five desktops on it. See the, the number right down there, whenever I press it. So then the key bindings, this first distro I've ever encountered, where all the key bindings are set pretty much how I like them, right out of the box, I don't have to do anything. Just use it. But that's cool to be, not to be ever run across any distros that are like that. It part of it because, because it bases the flagship on window manager open box. They have the key binding center there pretty much like I like them. So since this uses open box first window manager, it has the same key bindings as what the, the window manager does. So I press super return and get terminal like that. I press super Q and it closes the window like that. Yeah, so all the key bindings are pretty much how I like them. Maybe one or two here or there I have to change, but I need to change it. And if you need to change the key binding, how do you do it, you wonder? Well, that's an open box for you. Now, I don't know if you have a graphical way to do it here or not, but we'll probably figure that out. First, look what we have on our, on here. See what we got, see. We got accessories. Calculator, Imager, Quantum Manager, Kavant, God, I said Kavantum Manager. You got Main Menu, I guess editor for the Main Menu. PyCom, which is a graphic uh, compositor. 
Now you make your transparencies that way and stuff like that. Vim, which is a, is a text editor, archiver, X color. So I guess the color picker, if I'm not mistaken. And then for graphics, you have flame shot. I'm not familiar with flame shot. I've never used that before. Probably as simple to use screenshot software. Oh, screenshot. Oh, let's say screenshot is real quick to see what we got. Uh, I don't know what it did. Maybe it just takes screenshot whole screen. Yeah, so it even has, uh, yeah, alternate, uh, Super F brings up the file manager in this. You can also, of course, go to the menu to get to it if you really want to. We go down here, and that's file manager right down here. Yeah, you have to notice that the, the when you put your cursor over the over these different things down here, you know it, it puts little things. What it is all the way up there in the uh, by the trash can up there. So like Firefox. LX terminal and Yeenies is a text editor likes to use that. Yeah, you notice all these seams are pretty consistent through here. I think this person, whoever well, I don't know who it is, but I don't know I don't know him personally, but I just know the name. And let's look at that real quick. I just wanted to get her name right or his name her or his, I'm not really sure which one it is. But their name, I guess, would be a safe way to say that. Yeah, I'm looking at the website right now. You probably can't see it since I haven't switched it over. I can switch it over real quick. Can you see it real quick? Now I found it. Yeah, it's right there. I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce that. Anyway, she, he, she, or he, or whatever pronoun they use has got, uh, obviously, some design. Uh, background in her or him or her it was PC man FM so that's traditional so it brings you back to old times when I first installed Elemutu on this on the computer yeah now the window managers now BSP WM has a use about as I said before I use about 350 megabytes out of 8 gigs of RAM Open box used about 400 around about there megabytes with nothing else running on it out of 8 gigs. This used about 500 around 500 megabytes out of 8 gigs. So it's all all low low end thing. I'm not sure the XFC runs since I haven't tested it out, but usually XFC runs around five, six, seven hundred, depending on what other stuff you got running on it, that kind of thing. Yeah, that's why I say this is really uh, arch craft. They crafted arch into a nice looking distro here. Now, the only disadvantage to this is it is run on is one person doing the whole thing. I think I haven't seen anybody else's name, but but uh, with that one that I've taught, told you before listed on here, so I think it's a one person deal if I'm not mistaken. So. That person stops maintaining it, you know, it'll fall by the wayside unless they get somebody else to have, or they have a team behind them and they haven't mentioned it. And you can examine the website and see what you think about that if you have concerns about that kind of thing. Yeah, this is, I like this desktop though. It's real, real clean, real nice looking, and it's all themed out accordingly. And all the key bindings. Let's see what we got on here. I haven't installed anything on here other than I haven't even installed, I haven't even done nothing on this. I just opened it up and and looked over a few things, see what I need to do, show you that kind of thing. So we have Flameshot, yeah, we're looking at Flameshot. Then you got the internet, you got Firefox, Office, Atrial Document Viewer, Programming, Gini, Meld. So you have those two. The two things on there, you got sound and video. This is where you have most of your stuff. You have a music, LX Music Simple Music Player. Check that out. And Pulse Audio Volume Control, and you have a simple screen recorder. As well as a QTV4L2 Video Capture Utility and Test Utility. 
And then system tools, you have your standard LX D tools, Battle Arch Craft, File Manager, Departed, HTOP, LX Terminal, Manage Printing, Ranger, Ranger Danger Danger, yeah, it's a command line uh, file manager if you ever want to look into that, it's kind of cool. Task Manager, Time Shift, yes, Time Shift on it, cool. Preferences, so if you want to set preferences, you got your Bluetooth Manager, Customize Look and Feel, Default Applications for Alex Session, Desktop Session Settings, Keyboard Mouse, Mounter Settings, Power Manager, QT5 Settings, uh, Pot Keys, Yad Settings, and uh, then you have your Run Command and Log Out Commands, or you can log out to your system. So that's what you got there, and then here you have your uh, desktop preferences. I assume it's have backgrounds on it, probably, maybe, somewhere. Uh, wallpaper. Okay, use the same wallpaper on all desktops. Wallpaper with stretch and crop to full semester, and then you got your default JPEG, which is a good wallpaper. I guess you can use this thing here to find other wallpapers yeah and you get a view of it right there so if we went like uh, cyberpunk jpeg you get that and blade bird There's like some pretty things to look at through here. Because they have a lot of these, a lot of, a lot of these here have a, a lot of uh, nice, uh, nice, yeah, I haven't seen any bumpers yet that I can tell. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Draw Dracula. Oh, it's a moonshot, I think. Uh, 11. Oh, that's Windows 11 uh, thing. So go to Windows 11 background. You got that here too. 11 dark. Uh, flower, forest, G root, G root. Okay. Yeah, I'm not too sure about it. I can't really see if they get that small picture, but. Yeah, hey. Keyboards, keyboards. Okay, landscape. That's the one, uh, sort of like what we got up there, but it's uh, lighter. Excuse me, my nose is plugging up, so I probably sound bad, but it is what it is, can't help that much. Manhattan. Mountains, that's what we have here, I think. Yeah. Pretty sure. Okay. Door, door, de peso. Great. Great JPEG. Okay, that's me, I guess. <laughs> Slime, spark. Slime. Yeah, you, you can put these on for however you like. Yeah, you can put these uh, wallpapers up on the big screen and look at them in more detail if you like. At some point, so. Spark. Sun Garden. Madness. So I'm going to pick the 
Cyberpunk. Look at that one. Open. There you are, Cyberpunk. Not bad, it's kind of interesting. So you have a lot of options there as far as backgrounds you want. So yeah, I like I really like this desktop. I wish it was on Debian actually. <laughs> but I like our chart. It's just a you know but I like this one. This is a good background. It's a good 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 distro I think. I really like it. I have another distro I want to install my main computers, that kind of thing. It'd be cool though to put it on this framework which has all this power to it. And it had that little resource thing, and man, this be super fast distro. Super fast. So, yeah. So, anyway. Let's see what else. Oh, yeah. You want to show HTOP? So, you see what I'm talking about? It's running under 575 megabytes out of 8 gigs right now. Which is pretty good still. It's running at 500 when I first opened it up, but I probably should have opened and closed a few things. It's going a little faster. It's handling a little more stuff now, I think. So, yeah. And I, when I updated it, updated fine on this computer because it's faster computer than the other one I was talking to you about earlier. And yeah, it has a strange Neo patch, so. Not too real fast. Yeah. So there is now Neopets here register 716 megabytes out of 80 gigs. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Why it's, why it's big discrepancy, but Neopets has generally done that. It's, anyway, Alex Terminal, Openbox, SZSS, ZSH. Uses that instead of bash. Here's a surprising thing: 954 packages installed. Haven't installed anything on here either. So that's 954. It came with uh, NeoFetch and H and uh, H top already installed. So I didn't install those. So yeah, it's got a 6.1.7 dash arch one dash one kernel. Yeah, for his arch base, I like this whole desktop feel. It's real nice. And you should. And the cool thing is when you install the first one that has the uh, the uh, window managers on it, Openbox and BSPWM window managers. Yeah, they come with some music on it. About five songs, I think it was. Let's find the. Uh, Screenshot. Checking down those first. Nope. Not there. And I have pictures. Whoops. Nothing there either. I don't know what happened with that flame shot. I don't know. I may not have taken a, taken a screenshot with it. At any rate, let's install some. That'd be something you want to know how to do. This is Arch Base. You can either use the Pac Man or something that lets them see something. That lets there's any graphical user interface to the software installer. Like they have to do it on the command line. So I just have to use command line. I don't know how to use command line, but I'm trying to find out if there's a graphical user interface for other people who aren't comfortable with command line. That's one glitch on this distro up here, not comfortable with command line. You want to either learn it fast or whatever, but I'm comfortable with it, so let's go with that right now. So, pseudo so Pac-Man.
Was it installed? Where was it installed? Oh yeah. I'm gonna first do a search. Let's So I do that. Okay. So Telegram desktop's right there. So you want to install Telegram on a desktop on your computer? You just find sudo pacman dash s capital s and you move that like that telegram telegram desktop and oh I didn't I did it wrong press D on the end so oh, sudo not sudo dude Okay, so it says yes to so installing all these packages, dependencies, Telegram desktop. All those other ones I need to warrant. Yes. And you see this installs pretty fast, so it's a nice fast computer. It's got SD on it, cart in it. So it's got SD so it runs faster. And it's installed. You have Telegram desktop on there. Uh yeah, and if we want to install something from AUR the Arch user repository is what that stands for. Then you can see what it's either yay or something. Yay is a popular one, it's on most of these. Yeah, yay is on there. So we'll go yay. Now you use yay to install stuff like binaries like this, like Telegram desktop, like we just did for that. So you also do upgrades and that kind of thing with it. So say I wanted to update, I don't know if be much of anything on there, but say I want to update it with using A, you just put in yay and you put in a dash S Y U upgrades. Yeah. There's nothing to do it says, which will be accurate. <laughs> What I haven't saw there you are, and then you just do, you can do just like we did for Pac Man, you do yay dash s if you want to find something there. It's good to search that because then it searches everything. So, like, as soon as I search on Pac Man, see if it comes out, what we get there. So all the communities are right there. So, that's that. Uh, that's how you install things on here. Yeah, so you upgrade by doing uh, s, capital S lowercase y and lowercase u and you can install things by just doing dash capital S you can search for stuff programs by doing dash capital S lowercase s and if you need to learn other things like how to do other fancy things with it you can just install the you can look in the, the man page yeah, man, man, Pac-Man. There you got all the options, all of the way you move things, you see things. You can query what you have on your current database and your what's installed on your computer. So you have all these options you can do to to monitor and thing you can do. It's pretty flexible actually. But it is kind of cryptic in a way because you have to learn all these special what these did like sync for install, which basically means it's syncing the package from the repository to your computer. That's all it really means. But most people don't think of that. Well, install. They don't think sync. And like say you can install many, you can install a lot of things on here. So yeah, yeah your videos options if you want gaming you can install uh all the gaming software out here you want you probably even figure out how to install the uh, kernels like zen kernel and things like that let's see what we, what, what we got on here let's see you know i have to put a pseudo in front of a 
We're doing searches, but I tend to just have a habit, so. Yeah, if you wanted to, to check, to, to update your database, then yeah, it might be handy to do that, so. See, we're going to search for. Oh, we're going to do here. Search. Oh, yeah. Uh, Steam. Do you want to say? There it is. SL. Steam OS Session Composite Window Manager. Game Scope. Same rather than what I'm trying to do. You talk about SL. As you meant. As you meant to type LS. That sounds interesting. Let's do that. Uh, Steve, look what it runs across your turtle when you type LSL. So let's see. Let's try it out. Just see. I'm curious now. <laughs> so, sudo pacman s s l. Okay, so s l. Choo 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 choo. <laughs> Funny, uh, there, there's what SL does. That's all it does. You're trying, you're going to LS, you have a typing dyslexia. You get trained a lot of times if you install that program. Funny, you know. But anyway, it was just fun. I had to check that out because I was just curious about it. So, yeah, that's it. That's, I like this desktop. It's very good, clean. It's uh, themed well, and it's uh, very usable. Matter of fact, I could probably just download this and use it right out of the box. Now, there are some programs I like on here, obviously. So this is kind of the way if you want to install a base package of, of, of Arch on here, you want to install whatever programs you want to put on it. You don't have to worry about taking off for a lot of programs. It's just got a minimal amount on there. Most of them I probably intend to use some. Then you install your own off software on there. You can install all the stuff you want on here to fill it out how you want it. So it's a good base if you like that kind of thing. It's a good base to do that with. Like I have a uh, script that I use to install my program. So, yeah. I wonder if Bash is on here. Just uh, probably is, but I'm just going to check that real quick. So I know. Yeah, Bash is on there. So if you have any Bash scripts and stuff like that, they should all work fine on this computer. As long as you probably designate that it is a Bash script. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's good. We'll maximize this. Oh, yeah. One thing I need to show you about this too is how to how to fix this if you want a different background color like I do. Now I kind of hate to almost start change the background color because it's a good color and it seems with the whole system. So you have to you have to remember that if you go changing colors, it's going to change the thing uh, for the system. So if you're picky about that kind of thing. But I don't want to go mess around with the color changes in it. However, I'm, I like the cobalt blue in there, so I'm going to change it, put it in there. So, I want, so to change background, you go over there. Custom. Add. And I'm going to cover cobalt blue. One, two, three, three, four. Like that. Select. Okay. But you also want to have your, your thing up here and you can increase it to a higher number if you want. If you have like me, you have a... You increase the size of these so they look bigger. You can also see this cobalt blue background. Yeah, I use it on a lot of my terminals, so that's why I have that memorized, that code for cobalt blue. So yeah, we're gonna show you this. So I showed you that. 
And then we're going to show you what. Oh yeah, how to change uh, key bindings in here. So you know, CD dot config. Oops. I forgot the end. Sorry. I forgot, I forgot the dot. <laughs> I need to combine the dot and the end together to make it work. There you go. Now you will see probably over here open box. Open box, open box, open box. Where are you open box? Right down there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six columns over at the bottom. So we just you know, go into that. And there you have your your uh, your RC file. It's used to add all the key bindings and stuff like that in it for OpenBox. So nano LSE SRC XML. This is XML file so it has all the stuff in it. First look complicated and hard, but all you need to know is to change the key binding specifically. And gee, this is mouse stuff, so you just go keyboard. You do a short W and, and nano. And you go to keyboard. And then that begins all the mapping of the key bindings in here. So you got show space, show menu. And uh, yeah, W tab. Two ways are let me get down here to the uh, ones that are more standard. This is all the window stuff. Go to desktop, go to desktop, that kind of thing. Tile show desktop. Is super D. Should have found some of me, obvious what it was. Says this, so I should have said Okay. You see all these key bindings they have. Key bind, key, W stands for Windows, keyboard key, and this, and A stands for Alt key. So W, press out of the super key, the Alt key, and you click the right arrow, it'll do this, all these actions. Move relative, and it'll move, move, move you to a different, uh, uh, assume that's, uh, that's, uh, I assume that's for, uh, moving your uh, window over to another keyboard. Uh, desktop and the, this here the windows control key right will resize your your uh, window if you're in it In an application section. Powerful screen. Salt F10.
There's flame shot four. Yay. Sears and Frankie. Yeah, so you press Frankie here. So I raise your press Frankie here, let's use this action. There's a uh, flame shot GUI, so look at the flame shot GUI thing. So if I press print on here, it should open that up. If I can find it, print on here. Oh, there it is. So, yeah, so there you go. You select mouse, control, plus S, save screenshot to file. Control C, copy, select clipboard. Mouse will change tool size. Show color picker. Well, X. Tools. Here we are. It says settings. Tool settings. That's so anyway, So yes. We're gonna copy this. We select this. Select space. So we're gonna squish up that. Here it pops up all these things over here. Edit it. Yeah. It's probably control S. Fatal T. It's editing, you edit the thing in the real time, but huh? when you're ready, you can go over here. Copy selection clipboard. Or you can save it, save screenshot to file, or you can say leave the capture screen, upload the selection, selection, choose an app to open the capture, so you choose an app. I create if you have to install one of those apps and you, you can pin image on the desktop. Interesting. Yeah. Well, to leave the capture screen. Yeah, that's cool. So if you want to do that, so we'll do that afterwards. Okay, so you got that, and you have, so if you want to know where Firefox is, that'd be a good thing. There it is. And you see it's got a W and key body is super key, Windows key with a W, so that would bring up the Firefox. First, you need it over here. We need the key bindings first because the other key bind is right above it. It has slash on it. That means close that previous one. So, you're right here to key binding. Go down to you get to that key binding with slash in front of it at the bottom of that one. That's a whole section there. Next one starts out new sections, all that kind of stuff. So, what you do is you hit control, you get alt. Six and, and nano to copy that. Then you hit control U to paste it. A little complicated, I know, but it's all down here in the thing. And also, if you want to get help, you just press control G and you can get all the vast nano stuff you want to know about. Okay, so. And you hit control C to get out of it for cancer. So then all you have to do is go up here, you set the key binding how you want it to be. Let's say, let's see, we're telegram. So let's say we're going to do telegram T. Now you also have to go to F chase, there's a WT anywhere in here. This file, but I'll show you that in a second. So, you got it here. And the name of the 
Where were him? Telegram desktop, dash desktop. Should be what you use. Now you know, going to change, make sure there's any more WTs in here. So to search on it, we'll find out. W, you want to really look for just WT and said W was something else on it. Because that, so you have it. Quotation quotes, closing quotes. WT. If you just do put W dash T, probably can get other W T things. W T. So do that. See, that has a key binary. LX terminal is uh, uh. It's already got it in there. So why don't we just uh. All you do if you want to disable one of these is you just go down here and you use all these other comments. I see all these things are between these quotes here between ankle bracket, uh, exclamation point, dash dash, and dash dash, and opposite ankle bracket on the other end. Those are all common comments. So all you do is comment section out. Do that by and do that by just doing what it says there. Dash dash. And you then here to see you already have uh, where you open up your terminal on on here just with the uh with a super return, so we don't need really super T for that purpose. At least how I use it, so. And then you just put dash dash. You, you can write that's how you disable part of it. You just put, put it all on it and that kind of thing. You disable it. So now you don't have to worry about conflicting WTs. So, save that. Then we'll go out, X. And see, still open up uh, other terminals on here. If I just... Uh, say you want to know, you open up a terminal on here that way. So that works. So for it, then if you wanted to open up a telegram, that's what you, so we just open it up with, you should be able to open up Windows T, and nope, it opens up, it's not supposed to do that, hey, hey, it's wrong, can't do that, anyway, I don't understand that, Oh, 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 probably have to reboot, log, at least log out and log back in. Type thing, probably. Where it'll work. Just gotta reload those uh, bindings into the session for it to work. So, see. Yes. Now, here I just pressed uh, uh, Super X, which is a common exit for. Most systems, window manager systems, a lot of them use that, a lot of some use, uh, but uh, BSPWM uses uh, Super C for closed window, instead of Super Q, use Super C. But I think it still uses Super X for closing the whole system down. So anyway, we'll just select log out over here. And there are logging out. So that's why it didn't work. It's so wrong. Double hyphen with any comment it says. Close that. We're gonna go back to here. Maximize it. 
Now we're going to go to see. Yeah, you gotta go nano. Nano dot dot nano. RC. And you tap in here, tap in set line numbers. Uh, you can do a lot more complicated things with that. You can make them different colors, that kind of thing. I'm just going to do this for now. And I'm just going to set soft draft just in case I need to see things like that. Then I'm going to set app light so I can read it. Whoops. App light. I'm going to save that. Now when we go into nano, nano dot big, open box, L A D E C X M L. Yes, uh, see I see all the line numbers on the side there. That's default. You don't know, specify any colors. You specify color colors. I'm like red. I use green or red. One of those two for whether I'm in root or whether I'm in uh, as a user. Depending on that kind of thing. So anyway, we got 661. I think line count was. You actually go to line kind of thing. Pressing. Uh, yeah. Right here. Go to line. So right down here, go to line, control, forward space. And 661, there we are, launch applications. Oh, I see. Yeah, John, apparently, oh, yeah, that's true. It's true for, for the command closing over here, so I'm just going to assume without the key binding, I could just delete the whole thing, so I don't want to use it. Yeah, I usually don't like to do this because it's easier to comment out and stuff. I don't know if the hashtag will work for this or not, but... This common thing in most bash files is to use hashtags for comments for the beginning of each line. So, yeah, it's worried about this double double thing here, geometry. And uh, apparently that triggers it. Hey, you're coming to the end of the end, and it goes, oh, boy, it calls when it doesn't get angle bracket, and then it has all this other stuff. That's why I keep on when it had work, because it didn't come in and out. So, we'll just erase the whole thing. <laughs> okay, you got it. That's it. Yep. Now to delete, you just go control K. They could go control you and put anywhere else you want them. We're just going to control K it out of here and get out. Okay, now we log out. One more time. And see how fast this is fast, blazing and fast on this machine. Boom! It's all up. Just like that. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I love it. That's why, that's one of the main reasons I switched to this because it had it so much faster than Windows was. It was mentally faster. Windows ever could hope to be on the computers back then. And you saw you saw a slow went there, it was even slower on Windows seven. Windows I think I upgraded to Windows eight at some point, but that that computer back there had Windows seven on originally when I bought it. So two gigs of RAM. So you couldn't run anything high end on that for sure. So let's see. Oh yeah. So Alt T, no, not Alt T, Win T, 
And there's Telegram. So you can start messaging as soon as you want to. So uh, it's, that's how you set bindings for things. Different things. I'm not going to go into setting that up right now, but that's what you got. Okay, there's one thing that's just relax though. That's uh, basically a search function for your programs. I can't find any search functions on this pro thing. So I have to install Ropey on them, which is pretty good. I like Ropey a lot, and it's easy to use, that kind of thing. A little, little tedious setup in a way, but not too bad. Especially when you use OpenBox, you have to edit the XML file to do it. So, yeah, so what I did was I opened up a terminal and saw Ropey by saying sudo uh, pacman. Oops. And dash s Rofi. That's pretty similar. It installs Lickety Split on most computers. It goes fast, so it goes pretty quick. And so you hit that and it'll install it, okay? Then you'll have Rofi in your. There it is, user bin Rofi. Rofi, Rofi, Rofi. So how you do that is you, you put in Rofi. Show. It's kind of a little odd because in most most things when you pull a spell out of word, you have to put two dashes. It just needs one. If you put two dashes, it has a conniption fit on you. And what can you do about that? So, anyway, so show D run, which gets you most of your programs. So it's like there's a run, but there's all sorts of things. You can pull up a Windows, you can switch Windows, you can switch workspaces. You can do all these things, but D-Run is the one you want to do if you want to do a list of programs. So you get that. That's what you get. And you type whatever program say you want a Firefox. There it is. Then you just hit enter. So if I are Firefox or Telegram. There you go. TL, Telegram, boom. You got it. So you bring up all your favorite programs that way. Anything that's not on that file manager. There you are, P PC band FM. All the same, and then it'll kick it in real simple screen recorders there. Kick it in, open it up just like that. But what you want to do is you want to open this up so you don't have all this stuff and you don't have to open up a terminal and type it in every time. So it's using the same command, but it's you go to nano big slash open box slash lxd dash rc dot xml there you are so i'll show you where i put rofi put out here with other programs you, you just search on firefox you'll find it real quick so there where you just copy firefox and you paste it in there so you copy everything from, like I said before, you copy everything from the key binding all the way down to the key bind with a slash in front of it. And you paste it between two key bindings between these spots. And it'll, then you can edit one of them. So you have two of them at that point. So you edit one of them, you can change the key binding. You may have to do a search on the key binding like I did before to find out what has got it in there. Then you just type in the ropey show D run just like that in there and then it pops up automatically whenever I hit WR. I had to I had to take out WR on one of the one of the other commands on here that I didn't want to use it on anyway, so take it out and yeah. It's best just to X X that out unless you got a double if you have a double hyphen in your what you're commenting out. So yeah. So anyway you got that and then you You'd save it and exit out. Then you log out and you log back in, and it should be act active at that point. So, and then you just hit Super R like you'd listed, and there's Ruffy. And you can pull up programs, search on programs real easy that way. 
But yeah, that's the only thing I didn't find in, in, in this distro was a search function for your program, stuff like that. Oh, that's a great distro. I love it. And uh, thank you all too. There's all sorts of wallpapers you can use for anybody, satisfy most anybody's wallpaper desires. It's all the programs are pretty well themed overall. And all that kind of stuff. So that's good. So that's it. Well, so that was Archcraft. I really like it a lot. I like the aesthetics of it, the whole feel of it, the cleanliness of it, the fastness of it. Because LXD is just fast. Distro, once you put it on, especially put on fast computer, it's decently fast computer. Uh, it just makes it so much faster when you put it on there. You see it just uh, booted up and ran quickly. The login screen came up quickly and popped in. And uh, can't beat that hardly. Nope. So let's look at LXC. I'd like to show you the window managers, but I don't know if you want to see those or not. But it really was cool the way that they had the music in the polybar. They have five songs to come with it, so you play them. And I was kind of hoping to have it on this. It didn't have it, though. Oh, yeah. And the screen, screenshots we took. Yeah, you know how to use this uh, with desktop and all that kind of stuff. So thanks for watching, for checking out the video and that kind of thing. And I uh, hope you have a chance to subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that cool stuff. And until next time, may the Linux Force be with you. Bye.